Today we're talking about rear wing shims and we're going to do this test with the Axis 1150, the standard fuselage and the 460 millimeter rear wing. This setup is going to be on the 75 centimeter mast that is 19 millimeters thick and we're going to remove the rear wing and insert a positive one degree shim, a minus one degree shim and see how these different shims affect the pumping and gliding capability of this foil. I contacted Axis Foils to see if they had any shims already drawn up and they were nice enough to share the 3D drawings with me so I could have it 3D printed. Here we compare the negative one degree shim to no shim at all, and you can see that the negative one degree shim glides farther. Here we compare the positive one degree and the minus one degree shim. Again, the minus one degree shim glides farther. I was skeptical that a one degree shim would make a difference and it absolutely did. The rear wing is normally pitched down slightly. Adding a negative one degree shim closed the gap between the rear and front wings, making that rear wing flatter and have less drag. With the rear wing flatter, there was less of a counterforce to the front wing, which helped load my feet more evenly. But when we added a positive one degree shim, it made the rear wing more negative angle of attack. I felt like that made the drag go up, the pumping more difficult, and made it harder to accelerate. So one degree matters. I'm now going to ride my wing with a minus one degree shim. <laughs> 